Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a different problem today. We want to find the area of, well, the pink region. Now, this is actually a fairly simple problem, but I thought it was worthwhile going over, and you can see some tricks here to, well, solve it quickly and thinking outside the box, and I know a lot of you will probably advance and know the answer instantly here, but I think it's important. There's always someone the first time they see something like this, it's good to see. So our goal is to find the area of the pink region. And what we have here, let's lay some ground rules. We have a square here, and the square has is basically split up in half on each side length with a semicircle. All the semicircles are the same size. They both, all of them have a diameter of two centimeters. So now we want to find the area of the pink. So I want to give you a moment to let me know down in the comment section below what you think the area is, I'm sure you'll get it. And we're gonna go over the traditional way to solve this and the fast way to solve this problem. Okay? So let's go dive right into it. The regular way you first would solve this, not the fast way, you wanna find the well, area of the square. So the square has a side length of two centimeters plus two centimeters. So the area of the square is equal to that side length, two plus two, which is at four, and we'll we square that side length, right? Side squared, area of a square is side squared, and so we have a 16 centimeters squared. Then what we wanna do is add the extra semicircles areas on the outside and subtract the ones on the inside. So the area of each semicircle is gonna be pi r squared, so pi times our r, our radius, half of two centimeters, which is just one, and then we wanna square that and then, well, that's the area of a, was a full circle. We want the semicircle, and so it's gonna be a one half out front. And so with that, we have the area of each semicircle, I guess I put a little SC here, is gonna be one half times pi times one squared, which is pi over two centimeters squared. So if we wanna find the area of the pink region, what we would do, we we're gonna start with the area of the square, then we're gonna add the four outside semicircles, the four of them that are outside here. So four times area of the semicircles, and then we would need to subtract the area of the inside semicircles. And hopefully here you're gonna see the quick trick right there. Well, let's go do the math here. And area of the pink region, area of the square is 16, plus four times the area of each semicircle, which is pi over two, minus four times pi over two. Then from there, we can add them up, subtract them, but you can see what's happening here. Area of the pink region is gonna be that 16 plus four times pi over two, minus four times pi over two. These cancel each other out here, and we're left with just a 16 centimeters squared, which is also equal to what the area of the square was. And really, by doing it this way, we can really see the quick method. We can really cross each part out. This semicircle negates this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And so what we're left with is just the area of the square, well, which we found very easily, which was 16 centimeters squared. Did you know this trick right from the beginning? Could you get it in a couple seconds? If you did, let me know down in the comment section below. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a different problem today. We want to... Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a different problem today. We want to find... Is this on? Okay. <clears throat> I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these fun math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, Thanks for watching.